Welcome back to Broken Sylvia. My name is Damien. Currently we're doing the R34 project and unfortunately not everyone can relate to it worldwide as the car is only uh, available in some parts of Europe, Australia and Japan. While a lot of the viewers are from the US and can't relate to that build. So we decided to buy another project car. So this is going to be the first day that we're going to work on this car. Uh, a few weeks ago we pushed it into the workshop and it's just been sitting here. The skyline's been getting all the attention. Now before we move on with this build or before we even start this build, you're probably wondering what we're going to do with it. It looks like a hunk of junk and a lot of you guys are excited that we're going to build a drift car. And as you've seen our previous projects or current projects, what we're doing with them, that is not the case. We like things clean and restored. Not a big fan of drift cars and fiberglass body panels, so unfortunately, this is not going to be a drift car. We're going to try to restore this car so it's brand new again. Uh, of course, we're going to upgrade a lot of things on the car along the way, but once the Skyline is done with the rotisserie, this is the next car. So that's what we're going to do now. Start stripping it, preparing it for the rotisserie. So after removing all the disgusting fiberglass parts, I just quickly test fitted our metal OEM fenders just to make sure that everything kind of lines up and the car is relatively straight and even without bolting the fenders on, they lined up really nicely with the rest of the body lines. So now let's have a look at the underside of the car and the real reason why Harry and I decided to make this into a street car instead of a drift car. So the car was advertised on Facebook for $1,200 and I'm pretty sure I tagged Harry in it as a joke and we exchanged a few messages forwards and backwards and before you know it we decided to um, go on this journey of building up 
project car together. So our first intentions were to buy the car, stick a cheap LS1 in it and just go have fun and drift the car on a strict budget of not spending a lot of money. But then we saw the car in person and yes, the interior and the exterior of the car was messed up. The radiator support showed no signs that it's ever been replaced, so that was a good thing. And the underside of the car is what really made us want to build a street car out of it instead of drifting it. It was dark, we were in a parking lot, and we were shining our flashlights around the car, and we just could not find any rust from the underside of the car, except those few little bits and pieces around the sill panels where people don't know where to jack the car out properly. Other than that, for a car that's almost 30 years old, the underside was pretty perfect.
So it's another late night in the workshop. It's it's 11, 11 p.m. Um, yeah, trying to balance work, uni, and building two cars at once is proving itself to be quite a task, especially since I have to film and edit all the videos. Um, but I'm really enjoying the process, um, getting quicker and quicker, not only just working on the cars, but also editing the videos, so um, I'm not too fussed. Um, I'm trying to push out one video every seven to 10 days. It's a bit of a mission. There's a lot of work and probably in the next few episodes I'll show you guys um, how I go about filming the videos as well just in case anybody wants to start their own YouTube channel and wants some tips. That's my mum. Yeah. Yeah, I'll touch. Ciao. So where was I? Pretty much the whole point of this build is for everybody to be able to relate. The R34 Skyline is a hard car to get your hands on uh, in most places of the world and also they're getting quite pricey. Even though these cars are uh, raising in price, they are still relatively affordable. Now whether you're in Europe and it's called a 200SX or America 240SX or Australia and Japan it's called a 180SX, at the end of the day all these cars are the same with a few different variations whether it's right hand drive, left hand drive and engine combinations. Uh, in saying engine combinations, we have actually have a full drivetrain for this car. I uh, won't reveal what it is because then the show would be kind of boring. Um, but yeah, we're going to try to keep a budget friendly. Um, it's going to be kind of like a budget build. Uh, I know I might get a little bit of hate for this when we start purchasing brand new parts, but you have to look at the car. Everything needs replacing and even if it wasn't in this state, it is a uh, I was about to say 20 year old car, I'm pretty sure it's pushing close to 30 year old car um, that is going to need most things replaced on it. So if we can buy the cheaper part and it'll do the same kind of a similar job as a more expensive part, well we're going to go with a cheaper alternative just so everybody worldwide can relate to this build, whoever can get their hands on this car. That'll be it for this episode. If you like this sort of content, consider subscribing. We also have the R34 build going on. Uh, that's my dream car. So yeah, that's going to be a really good one. And my long forgotten S14 Silvia, which I've done a full uh, series on. That car is just chilling in the garage, waiting for another few bits and pieces to be done. That'll be it. We'll see you guys in the next one. Discussions on bragging about hundreds. Don't go to your places. I know that they sunk in. Don't call me your brother. I barely could trust you. I talked to a shorty. She bagging the bug. And I'ma need all of my dollars on corporate. So hand me the money. I divvy the pot. I'ma give all of my people a portion. to build them a fortune. I'm flipping.